avoid cheap accounts do not buy an account with an editor hi hi what's up good people welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to talk about buying an academic writing account i know the high season is fast approaching and everybody want to get an account if you are a beginner if you've never bought an account ever again there are a few things that you should know and i'm going to go direct into the points the first thing that you should know is that an account is an investment just like any other investment buying an account is an investment now just like any other thing out there if you go for a cheaper account it will be very hard to recover your money fast it will be very hard for you to get jobs it will be very hard even to sustain the account cheap is expensive so the good thing would be making a higher investment buying an account maybe between 15 to 30k should be a good start if you have 15,000 you can get a good study pool account or just any good account within that range that is a take or even a bid account and with bid it's not like upwork on the sites where you bid and you're not able to get jobs no academic writing is different for example in study pool it's so easy to get jobs the second thing you should know is that an account can be closed anytime just anytime you can wake up one day and find it closed due to very very simple mistakes these are simple mistakes that i keep on mentioning on this channel like using the right format just having experience knowing what this account wants so before you buy make sure you know the account very well make sure you invest your time in knowing how the accounts operate its rules and regulations its restrictions just everything to just make sure you do not lose the account as soon as you buy i know the jobs will be so many this high season and many people will be searching for writers and you may be tempted to get an account and hire writers if you want to go that way that's also a good way but you should be very careful the third point is getting an account and start giving jobs to writers as a beginner is never a good option yes you had me if you are a beginner and you want to get that account and also subcontract some jobs to other writers it's going to mess you up if you want to get an account get it understand it work with it know what those people want know the simple rules and regulations the restrictions just every detail of that account so that even if you subcontract or giving job to other person you'll be in a safe space you won't be gambling the next point is knowing how people are caught out there or knowing how different people use can use you to get money from you you can buy an account right now and you do not change the bank details for example i sell the account to you you go with it and we do not change the bank details you go work with it for example you make a hundred dollars and it should be your first withdrawal and when it comes to withdraw when you withdraw the money the money comes to me and you will never see me again there are some con men who work like that out there so when you buy an account do your due diligence make sure you transfer am you change everything am you just have everything under your name all under your details you do not want to work hard and make your own money and when it comes to withdraw the money is gone and you do not know where you can find these people okay you may have met physically to buy the account but do you know do you even know where they live or do you even know who they are you just met them online it would be very hard for you to trace them so make sure you do your due diligence another important point that i was about to forget is ensuring you buy an account without an editor if you are a beginner if you're a beginner do not buy an account with an editor because it's going to miss you you do not want to start back and forth with editors because the moment they find a mistake they will always give back the paper to you and it will be back and forth and you're going to find you so the best thing is to get an account without an editor at all start from there start with dealing with customers a direct cause those people are just human like you and they can make mistakes beside the editor they also make mistakes and you can make mistakes that they don't see and the paper goes and pass but if you get an account with an editor 
it's going to stress you because it's going to give you a lot of revisions and you're going to find it hard am you going to struggle with it my next point is maintaining the account and ensuring you raise its value because if you start getting revisions and canceling orders and missing revisions the ratings would be reward and it will be very hard for you even to sell that account at some point okay you may get an account and you want to steal it for a year or two but eventually you will want to sell it you do not want it to be closed because it is an investment if you bought an account for 10k you should be able to sell it for 20 to 30k and there's no doubt of bugging on that you should always improve the account so make sure you buy an account that you can easily improve and just make the best out of it my final point is making sure you buy the account from a verified source or a verified person or a verified site i have done a video on the best site to buy the account if you're here in kenya but if you're not here in kenya you should also be very careful you do not want to buy the account from brokers because there are so many brokers and there are also so many conmen people out there so Make sure you do your due diligence research. I can connect you to a honest person, but also you can also do your research. Do not ever be in hurry because this is an investment. As I said, it is a huge investment and you want to continue making profit from it.